in the shadow of the Fisher Building is the Comerica City Fest. They've been holding this since 1743. I'm oh, sorry, 1865. And to celebrate the end of the Civil War, Comerica, a company which wasn't in existence until then, uh, they started the City Fest, which used to be called Taste Fest. There will be a quiz on this. Anyway, we're down here tonight to catch some uh, local talent. We uh, started off with Sterling. Now, if you've ever been to a bar, this guy has probably started it or booked the band that was playing there or served you the drinks and maybe kicked you out when you found you uh, not entertaining anymore. Anyway, way back in the 20th century, before they even had Tate Interwebs, he was a musician and he, now he is again. It's been about 20 years since he's been on stage. Fortunately, DNA testing does acquit the innocent. Anyway, he uh, took it to the park stage, which he's also been curating for the last few years, with uh, Sterling and Friends, with Eddie Baranek from The Sights and about 23 other Detroit bands, and Audra Kuban, who answers the question, what would Joni Mitchell be like if she didn't look like Tom Petty? Here's some stuff that they did. Give me one more chance to save our man, because I love you with all It's not a local music thing without a bunch of local musicians. You might recognize this guy. Yeah. How appropriate. Danny Mug brought his own mug. <laughs> Most excellent. You're filming us, mister, huh? What do you think? I think it's disturbing. <laughs> it's a grandma mermaid. <laughs> well, we closed off our evening with Don Duke Dupree. Dupe and the Inside Outlaws, they're uh, local heroes. Uh, very kind of a country Americana done Detroit style act. Um, they're kind of like a split between Detroit and Nashville, which kind of puts them musically somewhere on the Ohio-Kentucky border. And they did a combination of stuff that sounded a little bit like this.
little bit like this. at the bottom so check them out Dupe in the inside outlaws well closing things out at city fest was apartment four they've been described as if the ramones and the president of the united states and the pixies had gotten together at a show and actually gotten along they brought their bright poppy punk sound to close out city fest park stage after george clinton had made a big racket nearby and it sounded a little bit like this Anyway, City Fest has been going for 20 years strong and hopefully we'll be coming back more to see more great music. <laughs>